Hey, what's up guys? This is McGuire with EYCTO, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create custom thumbnails for each of your videos. Uh, so you can see that we have custom thumbnails here, and uh, having custom thumbnails is important because it makes your channel more professional, makes your videos easier to associate together and to find, and uh, it also gives kind of more of an insight uh, to people to what your video is about, and you can also put your title or keywords into it as well to get people or to draw people's attention. So uh, to start off with, we are using Pixlr. Um, I'll have a link for it in the video description. But uh, Pixlr is an online photo editor, kind of like Photoshop. But um, we use it for all of our thumbnails, all of our video editing, uh, not video editing, but image editing, and everything like that. Um, and it's completely free, which is nice. Um, so once you get onto Pixlr, go ahead and go to eycto.net slash um, geez, there we go. Layout, thumbnail layout dot pxd. Go ahead and go there, and it will download it as you can see right there to your computer. Uh, now, basically, what this is is a layout for your thumbnails so that you don't have to do everything, and every time you can create a logo or a thumbnail that looks similar to each other. Um, so you're going to go ahead and open an image from your computer. We will actually I'm going to save it to my desktop. There it is. So this is what you will get when you open it up. Go ahead and click view and go into full screen mode. So take it so that you have more room. All right, so you can see that we have three lines of text, just a white background, and then a place for a logo. Um, so I'll show you all of these are movable. So you can see this movable text, and then this layer is movable text, as well as this layer, and as well as the logo. Um, so basically what you want to do for this is you're going to go up to File, Open Image, and you're going to need a screenshot or something, whatever you want the background to be. Um, normally we go to one of our videos and we just screenshot it, whatever we think looks the best, but we take a screenshot from the actual video to demonstrate. So mine are all hidden in here. It'll take just one second to get to them. And videos, thumbnails. Alright, so you can see, so we'll take, let's see, one of our recent videos. Take this one. So there you go, you see it opens it up. All you have to do is go to edit, select all or control A, and then copy it or control C. Go back to your thumbnail layout and paste it. And paste it. There we go. Now you see it will cover up the whole photo. Um, you're just going to have to go to edit and then go to free transform and go ahead and shrink this down to size uh, you can normally just make it a little bit bigger so that it overlaps everywhere there we go um, and then you can see you're going to have to change the text especially since we have a dark background let it go ahead and do that so this is how to do the dragon so there we go Let's make all these white real quick. And you just change them for each background. If you have to do a, oops, hold on. In this layer, this background layer should be right above your background layer so that everything else shows up behind it. So, point. All right, so now you can see what we're working with here. So since this video is called The Dragon, we are going to go ahead and edit it as such. We'll go to the 101. Oops. I'm going to go to regular mode. All right, there we go. For some reason it bugs out when you do it that way, but you can see you go 101 and you're just going to go through and you're going to change top, this, this, you can delete them, move them around, whatever you need. And then for your logo, you're also going to 
change this to whatever you need to. Um, you can just go ahead and go to File and Open Image URL if your logo is hosted on a website somewhere. Um, but yeah, then every single time you open it, you'll just get that regular PXD file so that you can go ahead and change this custom. Uh, it's real quick. You just type in whatever you want. Uh, normally, you'll have your thumbnail. Um, I would save it with your custom or your custom uh, logo right here, so that each time you don't have to edit it, you'll just pull it up, and your custom thumbnail will, will be right there. Um, but yeah, just add the background, edit your text, add whatever else you need, and then just go ahead and go to YouTube. And if you guys don't know how to upload a custom thumbnail, you're going to go to edit one of your videos. So you'll see if I go to edit the dragon video. There will be three of our thumbnails right here and then I can also upload a custom thumbnail right there. And you can see it fits perfectly, it looks good, you can change the color of the text too. Um, we took out of our, you can see on this one, we took out our little logo and added just a little dragon symbol. You can do whatever you want, make them look good, make them look professional. and. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please go to our channel if you can and subscribe. Um, we are nearing, I think we just went past the what is it, 1500 subscriber mark and we're getting near, not not getting near, but we're going towards the 2000, uh, getting close to 200,000 total views. So yeah, we appreciate every, one of, every single one of you that watches and subscribes. And I hope this video helps you guys out and helps your channel look a little bit more professional. Alright, thank you guys. And in this video, we're going to be teaching you how to do the dragon.